Okay, so let's do it the normal way. We will do it without DAX and then we do DAX, okay? So you might think that this is hard, but because it is the Northwind data set, and we already have a column that says how many products we have in order in the products table, it makes it a lot easier. So without DAX, we go to how many products, so how many products, put the products in. Product name or product ID. I know the product name is unique, so I can use product name. And then units in order, there is a column on the product table that says that. We don't have to go and count again, so it makes it a lot easier. And then stock, how many units we have in stock. So we want to count the units where the units in order, here are 70 units in order, and only 13 stock, we need to restock in order to be able to deliver. So this would be one of the, you know, the ones that we need to count. Not sure how to do this exactly without the hack, so I've actually exported the table in Excel. And now we, I've done a very simple condition that says if the units in stock is less than the units in order, then restock, otherwise okay. So for example, here you can see that it's restock. If I actually filter by restock, I will see that it is 14. You can see it, well, 15 with the headers, but it's 14, okay? So the number that we're looking for when we're doing the DAX measure is 14. So how do we do it in Power BI and DAX? Let's go back to Power BI. Okay, so this is very similar to the question that we had yesterday, but we're using different columns. So what we're going to do now, we're going to our measure tables. I know, I know, this is perfect for it. You see, it depends. Everything depends on what you're doing it for. So day 18, we are going to do uh, calculate. We're calculating products, so the count of products. So we're going to count the products on what? We need to tell Power BI and DAX what, which table to do this calculation on. So we're actually going to do a modified version of the product table where the measure, which is the stock units, this is the sum of the units in stock, there's a column, nothing weird, and is less than the order units. So there is a column that indicates how many units that product has in order, and I just do the sum. And as you can see, in this case, I'm using two measures. Yesterday, I was using the column and the measure. The truth of the matter is, in this case, you can either use a measure or just drop the column. I would recommend you to always do measures, but I just wanted to show you both, basically. So now we have our uh, day 18 eight there, the measure done, so we put it in here. Hopefully it says 14, which it does. This is good news, and we're done, okay? So let me, did you get it right? What was the DAX measure you used to create this? Very curious, let me know down below. And how many have you had right so far? Really curious, okay. I will see you again tomorrow, day 19.